Pastor Jerome Fernando is a man after God's heart, whom the Lord has separated and chosen to accomplish his mighty work here on earth. Being the senior pastor of King's Revival Church, Sri Lanka, the Lord has entrusted him with one of the largest growing churches in Colombo, with over 3,500 men, women and children. In his relentless quest of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, Pastor Jerome has left himself pliable to the mighty hands of God. And through him, the Lord has brought healing to the sick, deliverance to the burdened, and freedom to the oppressed. The Lord has expanded his ministry internationally by bringing thousands to gatherings organized and held in countries worldwide, and most recently, globally via God TV Media. In order to spread the truth of the gospel more effectively, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, this year Faith Food was launched in order to further edify and encourage people of God, bringing an anointed message from the throne room of God once a week. Welcome back to another Faith Food video on PastorJerome.org. First of all, as I greet you in Jesus' mighty name, I bless all of you as I greet you with the victorious blessing of Christ as you have leaped into a new year, that this new year will be something of extraordinary grace in your, in your journey with the Lord. I want to share some thoughts with you as you tune in to PastorJerome.org today in this new year. I want to share some thoughts with you from John's Gospel, chapter 2, verse number 9 and verse number 10. And these thoughts will truly be a stepping stone for you to uh, enjoy this year. And I want to share some thoughts on what God is about to do for you in this year that you have leaped into. John chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. This is the most popular story, the first miracle of Jesus turning water into wine. And I'm going to take it from the end of the story. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence, whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. Thou has kept the good wine until now. I want, to, I want to minister to you on a simple subject called the best is yet to come. The best in your life is yet to come. As you have leaped into a new year, I want you to know you must stay focused. You must put everything behind you. You cannot weep about last year. You cannot go back into last year. It's all over now. You are in a new year. And in this new year, you and I must understand that God does not live in 2015. He is from everlasting to everlasting. He is God. 2015 is just His predestined year for you. He has already predestinated you to be in the right place at the right time, meet the right people this year. He has commanded January, February, March, April, right through till December. 2015 has been commanded by the Lord to bring you fruit, good wine. The Bible says that Jesus was in this wedding in Cana of Galilee and the wedding had begun and it had a good beginning. It had a fantastic beginning. Many people have a good year only at the beginning, only at the beginning. And as the wedding progressed, the latter turned out to be a little disastrous. Maybe last year was like that for you. The beginning of last year was good, but the latter end of last year wasn't that great. But I want to tell you that the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. In this wedding, the beginning was good. The latter was bad, but the end was the best. The end was the best. The best is yet to come. No matter how your last year began, no matter how last year end, ended, my precious child of God, the best is yet to come. 
I want to share something with you. You know, Jesus takes water and turns it into wine at a time when everyone is confused. Everyone is confused. And if there was a time that Jesus shouldn't have done it, it was then. Why? Because everyone is drunk. They are not in their senses. We are just leaping into a new year. Most people lose their senses on a 31st night. They lose their senses by 1st of January. They don't know whether they are standing or seated. They have lost their senses, but God hasn't lost his. I want you to know that he is merciful, he is loving, he is compassionate. And whoever you are, wherever you are watching this broadcast from, Jesus turned water into the best wine. The governor of the feast said, you have kept the best until now, until now. I somehow feel in my spirit, I need to tell you this. No matter how last year was, the best is now. The best is now. The best is now. However, I will not say to you what some others say. God saves the best for last is not correct. God does not save the best for last. He doesn't wait till you fail to bring victory into your life. That is not a biblical term. But what you and I need to understand, God does not keep his best for last. He keeps his best for last until you have exhausted all your plans and purposes. And when you are at the end of everything you have tried, that's when he will step in with his best, beloved. Not that he saves the best till last. It's that you and I don't understand that we need him to intervene until we are in the last stages. It is then that we give him approval and room to step in and turn this thing around. He turned water into wine. Will he not turn your sadness into joy? Will he not turn your, your losses into gain? Will he not turn the curse into a blessing? God does not save the best for last. The best for last is saved because only at last you will find out all your plans didn't work, all your resources haven't helped, all your contacts didn't take you far in life. Now, at least now, you lift your eyes to heaven and you say, Lord, I'm depending on you. This year that I've leaped into is going to be the best one yet in Jesus' mighty name. The best is yet to come. If the Lord did this for people who were not in their senses, and those of us here today, listening to this broadcast, we are in the right sense. I'm not talking about common sense. I'm talking about the sense to know that you don't have power over this year. There is someone who has power over the days ahead of your life. The best is yet to come. They had planned the wedding to minute detail. They would have had the right guests. They would have had everything organized. No matter how organized you are, well planned you are, you have the right people around you, still things can go wrong. When it did go wrong, praise God, Jesus was there. And in your life this year, no matter what happens, no matter where you are, no matter what junction, may Christ's presence be with you. And may you see that even in a tough spot, even in a bad situation, the best, he brings out the best. The beginning was good. The latter was bad, but the end was the best. May this year be the best year for you in Jesus' mighty name. Till we meet next week through another faithful video and broadcast. Share this video with as many people as possible in Jesus' name and encourage them. Have a victorious, powerful year in Christ Jesus. The best is yet to come. Amen. And I'm